Today, I'm making pretzel bites, and here are the ingredients that we need. Four and a half cups of flour, that's all-purpose flour, one and a half cups of lukewarm water, a quarter cup of vegetable oil, one tablespoon of yeast, one tablespoon of sugar, two teaspoons of salt, and a quarter cup of cornstarch. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. All right. Our first step is to grab our water. I'm going to get my water into the bowl here. And I've got my yeast. I'm just going to sprinkle that in. I'm also going to give the yeast some food, some nice sugar. Mix that around. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a little bit of the flour. I'll just add a little bit in. Now I usually get this going on the KitchenAid mixer right away, but just for the video I'll just do a little bit by hand and then I'll finish it off in the mixer. So I'm just going to get this all mixed up. There we go. And then I'll get in our oil. Get all of that in. And our salt. There we go. Now at this point right now, what you could do is you could actually just let this sit here for about 10 minutes and let the yeast really start to work or you can start mixing it with your mixer or your blender or whatever you have right away. It doesn't really matter. All right, there we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this set up on my KitchenAid mixer and I'll be back in a second. All right, I've set up my bowl on my KitchenAid mixer. I've got my dough hook in place now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start loading in some of this flour. And I'll get the mixer going. So I'll just let this go and I'll be back in a minute. that's fully incorporated now so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the rest of our flour in there there we go and that's all of the flour and I will get that going and I'll be back in a minute again so my mixer has been going for about another minute and you can see the dough is really coming together. So we'll just let this go for a little while longer and I'll be back again. So this has been going for about maybe two more minutes. You can see the dough is really, really starting to come together. It's nice here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just let the KitchenAid mixer knead this dough for another two or three minutes. And then I'll come back again and we're going to take the dough and I'm going to spray it with some Pam and cover it up and we're going to let it rise. So I'll get this going. I just want to work the dough a little bit more and I'll be back. Alrighty, so I've let the dough go for about another three, four minutes. I didn't actually time it, but around there. And so this dough is really, really nicely mixed and worked. So what I'm going to do I'm going to remove it from the KitchenAid mixer here. And at this point, you can see a beautiful dough in there. I'll just get it off of there. There we go. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to remove it and see how nice it came out. Beautiful. So I'm going to take some Pam cooking spray. I'm just going to spray the bottom. I'm going to pop the dough back in and I'm going to spray just a little bit on the top. 
and I'm going to take a sheet, a little cloth rather, I'm going to cover that up, I'm going to let that rise for about an hour and I'll be back and then we're going to make some pretzels, mmm, little pretzel bites. Well it's about 50 minutes later and I want to show you how well our dough is doing. Here you can see it's risen up really nicely. So at this point right now I'm just going to take my hand and punch it down and there we go. So this is ready to use. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get it out, I'm going to set up my table and I'll be back in a second. Alrighty, so here's our pretzel dough. I'm going to put a little bit of flour down here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start cutting the dough into more manageable pieces. Just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're simply going to take the dough and we're just going to start making little ropes. So I'm going to get this dough nicely rolled out. There are no rules, you can do it any which way you want. You're probably wondering what are we going to be doing with that baking soda. Well we're going to be boiling up some water and we're going to add the baking soda to the water. And we're going to be dipping our little pretzel bites into the water for about 30 seconds to a minute and then we're going to be putting them on a baking sheet and we're going to be baking them. So there we go, that's nice like that. So I'm going to continue, I'm going to, I've got quite a few of these to make. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to set up my little um, stove thing here, which I've already plugged in. I'm going to get a pot and we're, I'm going to add four cups of water to it and we're going to bring that up to a boil. So I'm going to set that up and I'll be back in a minute. All right get my pot on here. I'm going to get two cups of water in here. I'm going to get this going. I'm going to turn it on. So there's two. And that's our final two. So there's four cups of water in there. And then we have our quarter cup of baking soda. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that in there. And this step is a must when you are making pretzels. If you don't do this step, you will be making bread, you won't be making pretzels. So this is an absolute must. So now this needs to come to a boil, so while we're, you know, while we're waiting for this, I'm going to continue making my little you know, rolls, my little logs here out of the dough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to very, very carefully push this off to the side so I don't have an accident here. Just push it over here and I'm going to continue on doing this and I'll be back. And there we go. I'm going to take a little bit of flour and just put it on a tray here just so that the pretzel bites don't stick alright that's good enough and now what I'm going to do I'm just going to take a little cutter and I'm just going to cut them into little bite sized pieces there we go and we'll just get them on the tray You can see this recipe is very, very easy. Alrighty. We'll slice them up like that. Alright. So I've got a few more here that I'm going to do. So what I'll do, so I'll just continue on. I'm going to get all of these done. And I'll come back. Because you don't want to sit there and watch me do this for another five minutes. So I'll stop the tape here and I'll be back when I'm finished. Alrighty, and a few minutes later I've done half of the recipe so I I do still have two of my little dough balls still here ready to go. But for the purposes of this video I don't need to do them all. We've got quite a few here so you'll see um, you know, a good sample of what the final product is going to look like. So those are the pretzel bites 
and I'm going to gently slide my water over here. And it's not at a full boil yet, so I'm going to let that go, and I'll be back in a second when it's fully boiling. You also want to preheat your oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. What I'll do is I'll put a little notice about that at the beginning of the video um, because I did it a little bit late. I should have told you about that at the beginning of the video and I didn't. Alright, what I've done is I've taken a regular baking tray and I've just sprayed it with Pam. I'm going to place that here. I'm going to try to show you a little better look here. And get that on there like that. And what I'm going to do, the water and the baking soda is at a full boil right now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of the little pretzel bites and I'm going to drop them in there a few more there we go and I'll just set the timer for about a minute and we'll just let these go Remember to have your oven 450 degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll just let these go. Well, we've got about 35 seconds left. So what I'll do is I'll just come back when we're when the timer is going. So that's a minute. I'm just going to move them off there a little bit so you can see here. So I'm just going to grab them. And I've sprayed my cooking my baking tray with Pam. Just want a little bit of oil on there. So I'm just going to get all of these down now onto the baking tray. There we go. And what I'll do is, I just want to make sure that this is coming up to a boil again before I add some more. Add a few more. There we go. Get our timer going again for another minute. So I'll do this batch and I'll be back. All right, we're coming up to the one minute mark. So I'm just going to get these out. There we go. Now if I weren't doing a video, I would use a slightly larger pot, but I want you to actually see what's going on here, so that's why I'm using a smaller pot. As you can see, it's kind of going to, it wants to overflow here a little bit, but I'm not worried about it. It's not oil or anything like that. So let's just get those in. I'm just going to pop the rest of them in. There's my oven, ready to go. So there we go. Just get those in there. So I'll pop these on for one minute and I'll be back when I pull them out. What I'm also going to do is I'm just going to take some salt and I'm going to start salting these up just before they hit the oven. So I'm just going to wait for the next ones to come out of them, out of the water. I'm just going to get all these ready to go. I'll put the salt on them and then we're going into the oven. I'm just getting some sea salt here. This is Mediterranean sea salt that I bought over at Costco. And I, re I just realized that I wasn't actually taping. I thought I was taping while I was bringing the last ones out. So sorry about that. I've got them all on here. I just spread them out to make sure they're not touching. I want them all to get nice, nicely browned. Uh, I've put the sea salt on and now I'm going to pop them into the oven 450 degrees for about 15 minutes. So I'll be back with the final product in a bit. All right, here are the finished pretzel bites. I left these in, I had my oven on convection and these were in for actually 12 minutes and you can see how nice and brown they are. I might do another batch and I'll just show you, I'll, I'll do maybe two minutes less just to show you the difference in the, um, in the color. But these taste just like pretzels that you would buy at the uh, at a stadium or in a mall or whatnot, they are really really good so you've got a nice little kind of like a doughy kind of crunch on the outside and they are absolutely just beautiful to eat mm -mm. 
they just bring back memories of having you know pretzels that you'd buy when you were a kid these are really really good so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make a few more and I'll show you more of the finished product later on if you were if you were counting all the ones that I put into the oven before you'll notice that there are several gone because I had quite a few people here tasting uh, doing little taste tests and everybody was given the thumbs up so I just wanted to let you know that so I'm gonna do a few more and uh, I'll come back and show you what I came up with all right I'm still going at these these here I'm doing for 30 seconds just to show you, you can keep them in there only 30 seconds if you want and they're still gonna get nice and brown. I'm just gonna add a few more in here. The first batch I made I'd say more than half of them are already gone. That's how good these things are. Alright, that's 30 seconds. A little just just a little bit longer than 30 seconds, but anyway. Get those back on there. There we go. We'll get some more in. So the real secret and the magic is the baking soda that's in the water. If you don't do this step, they will not turn into pretzels, they'll be bread. Try these out, you're going to really, really love them, I guarantee it. Alright, that's 30 seconds, let's get them out. Turn off my element here. Oops. Go. I'll carefully move this out of the way. My element is off. I've got those on there. I'm going to grab the salt again. Let's give them some salt. And I'll pop these in the oven for about 10 minutes. And we'll see how these turn out. Alright, so here are my second batch that I wanted to show you. And I said I was going to put them in for 10 minutes. These were actually in for 8 minutes, so I want to make sure that I have all of the times correct so that uh, anybody trying this out um, is not going to be you know, going off kilter a little bit and having them too, too dark. You can see how quickly these go. You know, you have 2 or 3 or 4 minutes and they can just completely change in color. And I'm talking even like on the 2 minute side. So you can see these are really nicely done here. Some of them even have a beautiful little crack on the top. These are nice. You can see these in some of the little, you know, places that make pretzels. It's, it's always a nice little thing to see. Um, anyway, these are really, really good, and I hope you try them out. So that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time. I forgot to show you inside, so let's just pop one of these open, and I'll just show you what they look like inside. Just show you how nice they are inside. Look at that really really nice mmm you'll bite into these and you're gonna say these taste like my childhood these are just so good they just bring back so many memories so anyway that's it for now and I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time